Oh, hello there. So, um, I thought I would do a little video quickly today because I got my new character that they that Sarah Peel just released from Cool Crafting in the post, and it arrived today. How cute is that? And I've got like seven to make, but this is so cute. And um, I've got the little head garland thing to go with it. I only got one of these. Um, and I need to make it. I've read on the page, people that went and got it from the NEC Quilting Expedition, who got it before it was released online. A few of them have said um, it's not really suitable for sewing on the machine. There was one lady who posted a picture who had done the majority of it on her machine. So I'm going to make it and see if it is machine doable because everyone knows what I'm like with machines and not wanting to do anything by hand because I don't think my, my sewing is that great. Although it's, it's good, it's, it's worked before, but I prefer doing it on the machine. And look at those feet. They might not be machine several. It might just be that elements of it can be machined and elements of it can be hand stitched. The lady who did it on the Loon Lapping page did say that she didn't add seam allowance and her legs were slightly skinnier. So we I shall I'm gonna draw it all out and cut it all out and have a look and see if I think I can or not. I'm gonna try it. I've already purchased two different colour green founts from Cool Crafting um in preparation. I just got to source the eyes and stuff and yeah, i thought i'd have a quick look at this kit um as i open it with you guys because if you have never ever ordered a kit from her before and you haven't seen my other videos with some of the kits in see how much you get see what she does so i ordered the make me kit because obviously i didn't really have the um pattern but now if i order another kit again i can order the remake <clears throat> so we obviously have the instruction book and that has the pattern pieces in it um and then it tells you how to make the head now regarding that i have all the books I've, i also buy all the kits and i bought the christmas kit uh, was it last christmas christmas four which one was it eric it was the eric one and I went to redo it and I wanted to make the anorak and I've lost the yoke pattern to the back of the coat. Now it's not only the book, so this is a like website you can go on where if you've got the books you can get the patterns printed from there. But they wouldn't include the Eric one because Eric was released outside of the books. So I emailed the ladies at Cool Crafting through their page like on the um contact us bit and told them my dilemma and they sent me the yoke piece in the pattern again obviously that could be abused by people who try to get free patterns um so i have got that yoke piece replaced so with this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to photocopy it first then i'll always have a hard one which is good if you do use the patterns a lot because when you draw around patterns if you don't um do anything with them to make them solid and safe you do sort of make the outside of the pattern tired so it's always good to have the original so sometimes you don't want to trace off a new set so it should get all your dimensions right. So that was my little lesson for this week. Don't lose pattern pieces by photocopying them and always having a hard copy in a file somewhere. Files or like patterns. Ethan, mummy's seeing a video in a minute, darling. So as you can see in the line of there, you get your doll needle and your hand sewing needle. Doll needles are, I'm not going to put it out now because doll needles are these long ones, which are good for putting the arms and stuff on. I've just got your felt. I'm trying to think if that's the felt colour I've got. I've got two different greens. The white felt for the feet and the under the throat. And the two little bag of gubbins. So you've got your buttons for putting your arms and legs on. You've obviously got the big eye buttons. And then beautiful Gucutum and Fred for hand sewing. Something which matches beautifully. And then separately to that kit I bought the garland for the head and this is hot glued apparently there's no specific instructions i'm guessing you just choose where you want to put your flowers on there and hot glue it together so i will be doing that like i said i will make one and then i will get all the bits i need for it and then i will show you guys how to make it whilst i'm here i thought i'd show you the lunar box for the literacy so um sarah peel is doing um literacy boxes this was the first one. It's the Jane Austen 
box. The um, next box has already been purchased by everyone and is out and we're now waiting for delivery. There was an issue with one item for the box, I believe, but we none of us mind waiting for it because it's going to be beautiful. And the next one is Midsummer's Dream by Shakespeare. And there's two more boxes to come. I believe the next one's Christmas. I don't know if that's going to be in addition to the Christmas box or that'll be instead of the Christmas box. I wouldn't mind either option. Actually, I would prefer two because I love it. Um, yeah, let's wait and see. Now, I'll open this one in front of you. Lots of people already made this dress and stuff. I'm so behind. It is ridiculous. So, tells you all about it. It also gives you um, the history of Regency and all of that gubbins. These are, I love these. Some of them come with little stories, some of them come with little recipes, but the wedding box came with carrot cake recipe, which I haven't made yet, and I really must. And the postcard to add to my collection, which I must start framing and putting on the wall because I love the postcard. It's got lots of special fabric for the bonnet. So um, he has boots made out of this like pleather stuff. Then you've got all the um, pattern pieces. Oh, look, a little bookmark. I forgot about that one. Oh, I can't frame that. What am I going to do with that one? I'm going to have to use it for my patterns or something. I don't know. Um, then all the fabrics for all the clothing, dresses and stuff. And these are all your bits and pieces and stuff that you'll need. Places of frills and all that, which I absolutely bleeding well adore because it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so looking forward to the next box coming. I am massively, majorly behind with all of my lunar making. I currently have a big plastic box up there, seven other kits. So I think I've got the fox, the sheep, I've got to have my neighbour shouting, um, I've got the Highland cow. I've got the badger, I've got the mouse, I've got the fawn, and I've got like all fabrics I've been collecting forever. I've got the sleeping bag, I've got the bag house that in there to make, lots of it. And my sewing has been mostly other things and not nearly enough Luna, and I've decided that I need to. I keep saying this though, and um, I keep getting distracted. Look, I'm getting very puffy eyes at the minute. So I'm going to, I'm definitely going to make her, I'm going to hand stitch her, mostly probably. And then I shall, you want to next one, I've got you going to go. <sighs> Seven minutes and I've bored myself, so it must be boring you. Anyway, how cute is she? She is very cute. She'll make a beautiful addition to my Luna collection. I do have this absolutely overwhelming determination to make them all, regardless. Every single thing ever released by Sarah Peel, will be in my house and made by me. <coughs> I love it. Right, so, that foot pad does look interesting. I need to have a good read and see how Sarah tells us to make it. Oh, some really interesting shaped pieces in here. Oh, what bit that is. Let me look on a pattern now. Don't know. Let's have a look. I need to photocopy this before I do anything with it. That is that funny squiggly piece, the upper head. Oh, okay, that gives it the shape. It looks complicated, but I've read on all the instructions, not the instructions, on all the posts about it. People say it looks really scary, but when you make it, it's really good and it's easy. And all the pictures, they've all come out beautifully shaped, like really good. So I'm really intrigued at how um, Sarah is a genius, isn't she? She's just a genius. Wish I had her talents. She's so clever. And look at that little head garland. It's just so pretty. She's the pretty. And look, the eyes go around the buttons a little bit. That's that funny shape. Cups over. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah, nice make. Nice, interesting new techniques and stuff. I love that about it. The shape is gorgeous. 
I don't like the ridges on the outside, but there's a ridge around the eye and then it comes down towards like the nose. So maybe I need to get over that and just make it the way she says. So I get that because how am I going to sew on the button on the sewing machine? I just need to uh, make it go tight properly. And just uh, such detail. Look around the fingers. So you get that webbed effect. I love sewing. How can everyone love sewing? I wonder what clothes you can make her. I wonder if the Midsummer's box clothes would look good on her. Because that's going to be all whimsical and fairy wings and flowers, I should imagine, being Midsummer's dream. Wasn't there something about a donkey in Midsummer's dream? It's been a long time since I read that. A donkey not made. Well, half made. I must do that one as well. Right, instead of muttering, I'm going to crack on with my day so I can achieve this later. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's anything specific you'd ever like me to make content about, please do let me know because if I don't know, I can't make it. Thank you very much. Bye, everyone.